Hi, Wolfpack Podcast, episode 11. Hi, I'm Alex Maker, the president of Wolfpack Productions, and today I have Young Democrats on. Oh, yeah. And it's such a time to have them on, too. Man, I watch CNN. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. No, but uh, what semester? Spring semester. Yes. Fun plans. Happy times. Mm-hmm. Hopefully warmer. Yes. Hopefully warmer. Yeah. Hopefully. Hope, hopefully. But who knows? But how about start by introducing yourself and telling us a little bit, little bit about yourself and what sure. you do at JJC. Absolutely. So my name's Delaney O'Sullivan. It's my fourth semester at Joliet Junior. I'm in the agriculture department, actually. I'm an ag transfer major. Um, so my final degree will be agricultural communications with a minor in political science. But I'm concentrating in journalism. So it's a very long. Um, wow. That, it's, a, it's word vomit, right? I would not have gotten the journalism after that. So, yeah, right? Interesting. <laughs> right? Yeah. I mean, it's hard to go into politics and then journalism. I have experience with both. But anyway, um, so yeah, here at JJC, I'm involved obviously with Young Democrats, founder and president. Um, very exciting stuff. And then I'm also involved in Student Ag Association through the Ag Department, which is a great, um, great organization. Um, and then I do a couple other things. I'm working a job, and then I also have an internship going right now. But in school, Young Dems and SAA are my two, my two main organizations. Both very yes. unknown clubs at JJC. Right? And two very different clubs as well. Yeah. Very different. So, because you're in Young Democrats, mm-hmm. you're like a Democrat, probably. I'd say so. In agriculture. Yes. That is such a small niche for you. It's a very, very niche population. You tap the small market. That's you. I really do. And the more you get to know me, the more... I had someone tell me once, you were just so ambiguous, the things you're interested in. <laughs> That's and I such was a great like, way to be described. And I was you're like, so I, do, I don't know if I should be complimented by that. Um, but it's very interesting. The thing that I, I think a lot of people get mixed up is... Um, Agriculture, there's a lot of politics in agriculture. I've heard that there's before. There's so much politics in agriculture, um, and it's not partisan, um, especially at the state level. Republicans and Democrats alike, I think, in my opinion, this doesn't reflect on Democrats, um, <laughs> in my personal opinion, I think that um, Democrats and Republicans alike in the state really care about agriculture mm-hmm. and making sure um, that we are sustainable in our agriculture practices, for sure. That is good. I, I don't know really what that is. So. I just, you know what? That's it's exciting. hard to be hard to be a Democrat in the ag world. I but would there's, assume that. I'm not the only one. Hopefully. I'm not, I know I'm not. The in, Illinois, in Illinois? In Illinois, there's, there's, there's a few in Illinois. <laughs> there's, like, there's like four, probably. No, but I think out of the sustainability union a lot. So okay, yeah. I, gotcha. I get the idea of agriculture. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Come to one of our meetings sometimes. Maybe. I don't really like going outside. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> God, no. Uh, I, I know you guys win competitions and stuff. So. Oh, yeah. But this is going to be a pretty epic podcast. I've never had a political thing before. And I, I chose all of the harder question, harder clubs to talk about at the end. I have Young Democrats, InterVarsity, Religion and Politics. Why don't you what? just have us all show up That'd and just horrible. really just wait for us to have like a cage fight or something? True. I, would just, I, I, want, <laughs> I want InterVarsity to debate like Genesis and then you to be like, that's not accurate. <laughs> You know, religion, Adam and Eve were not real. <laughs> hey, I went to Catholic God. school for eleven years. I can, I can bring up some some quotes, some verses. That's just sad. That's just unhappy times. <laughs> God. But getting into the fun, awesome questions. How did you find slash join your club? Oof. What has that process have been like? Wow. So I kind of have to give you the background of how I got into politics. I feel like almost I think like. That works. Um. So. <laughs> I really got into politics um, in fourth grade. It so, was so, the, so young. So it was the young. 2012 midterms, I believe. Which um, are you a politics guy? Mm, no. The midterms is in between not, the it's oh, in between sure. the presidential election. Yeah, what, what president were we going for then? In 2012. Yeah, it was. That? Oh, um, well, Bar- Barack Obama, Obama right? was already yeah. president. And then, or not 2012, 2014. 2012 was, was the say, general. 2012, what the fuck? Like, 2012 was the general election. All right. And then 2014 was the midterm. Anyway, um, the Plainfield Library, I'm from Plainfield, um, awesome. was having a referendum meeting. They were going to try and get, um, they were trying to vote on the, they had a referendum on the ballot for the midterm to um, 
add on to the library, basically raise taxes for Plainfield Township in order to expand the library, which I thought was awesome because I've been a big reader since I was mm. little. Of course, I didn't pay taxes either at that age, yeah. so I didn't get how that part wasn't awesome. Um, but I, uh, my dad took me to one of their meetings and I just thought it was so cool how these people were all just average, you know, average walking off the street, going to their nine to five jobs and then mm. making such a big impact um, in the state. That referendum did not pass. Um, oh, well. But then later on, I just had always been very interested in it, got more into the theory side of politics. And then in high school, started Plainfield High School Democrats. Um, that went on from 2020 to 2022. Then we became Plainfield Township Young Democrats, mm. um, which is still an organization active, an active organization. And now we also have, later on last year, started JJC Young Democrats. Um, Created two Young Democrat things. Three total if you count high school Dems. True. Mm -hmm. Which is a lot and makes sense why you did it here. So fair enough, fair enough. Absolutely. So you have to get involved. And if I always kind of thought like if I wasn't going to start it, who who's going to do it? You know, I might as well. Fair. I feel like that for my thing. Yeah, right? But that was because everyone left and it was me or it dies. So I was like, all right, time to clutch this up. And now I'm here succeeding. So It's all out of spite. It it's all out of spite for me. Oh. Mine's not. I'm just happy to be here. I, like, I, actually, huh? I have no hatefulness in my heart. You're on politics. True. That's a joke. Fair That's enough. That's a joke. <laughs> oh my god. God. Fair enough. So, how's it like starting at a JJC? Positive? Same? What's the difference? Um, I think it's been a little harder at JJC. Um, when I started Young Democrats, of Plainfield Young Democrats, I had the backing, I had the support of Will County Democrats, Plainfield Township Democrats, Will County Young Democrats, and they all, and it was also during, and it was also during COVID. Oh, okay. So everyone was, and it was also during the 2020 election. Yeah, no, more people So everyone was very, very excited and very um, motivated to be politically engaged. Mm -hmm. um, this year and last year has been a little bit, has proved to be a little bit more difficult um, just because it wasn't a huge election year, um, <laughs> especially year. last year. Um, now, next fall, I think, will be when there's a lot more engagement going on. I wonder on why. <laughs> because it'll be a big general election. <laughs> Trump v. Biden. Yes, two. part two. Oof. It's going to be awesome. I'm, I'm so excited. I think it's going to be very funny. Like, I want Joe Biden to insult him again. Like, and then make t-shirts. He tells him, shut after. up, man. Yeah, that's what he said last year. To him, yeah. Or last time to him. Yeah. I want to see that, but like, part two. <laughs> But then, like, not fear that Trump might win, you know? That, oh, that'd be sad. I don't know. I think he, I think he might pull through and do it. Oh, uh, that's that's just sad now. I mean... I hate to be the bearer of bad The news. young Democrat opinion. Trump's going to win. No! Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> hey, <kidding>. now. <laughs> young Democrats, I don't have... Young Democrats does not endorse anyone for president. <laughs> um, Fair enough. However, in my personal opinion... Honestly... I mean, Trump's going to win, too. I think sadness, he's, he's like, going to win, too. It's annoying because he's such, like, a not great person. But he's not he has such, one of, he has, like, one of the most epic comeback stories ever. Man got, he, he, he lost everything, and he somehow come back to a position where he could win it back everything. Like, how does that happen? I don't know. That's America. He's rich. Not really. I mean, yeah, Not anymore. But, yeah. Not anymore. He has money. He's a person of power. Yeah, it, I imagine if he was a good person and that comeback story would happen. That'd be crazy. I know, and he said he has a very loyal fan base. He his does. His fan base, or his supporters, whatever you want to call them, fan supporters, Supporter they base. really, really love him. And not Nikki Haley. They can't stand Nikki Haley. Yeah. They think she's I watched terrible. the primaries. Like, I, I've the been debates involved. or the, yeah. The debates. The I debates, watched the first yeah. two, skipped the other ones. But yeah. then I saw people drop out. I'm like, well, now I know what happened. Mm -hmm. But yeah. God, I watched people the were first just insulting one Nikki Haley. Like, it just wasn't even funny. Well, I was like, oh my God. There's a God. lot of sexism in it, no, too. No, yeah, especially... I was just like, the only woman candidate, and they're just, like, dogging on her I instantly. I know, yeah. They're Ron, horrible. What was it? Ron, Ron DeSantis. DeSantis brought up, mm -hmm. brought up his, her daughter. I'm like, oh my God, why? Don't bring that up. That's, like, the worst thing ever. Well, someone, I think, referred to her as, like, Trump in heels or something. Oh, that's awful. And I was <laughs> that's like, horrible. And I was like, one, I choose Nikki Haley I'd be Trump offended right for being called tr being compared to Trump. Yeah. And two, to have to be like the oh, she's a woman's we're saying in heels, like whatever. Like they said some yeah. they just they made a lot they of They chose to, like the most sexist comment you yeah, could take. Yeah, right? And, I'm and like, come on. I mean, and that's not what politics is. Like, you know, American politics has just been turned into this huge like 
insult war. And I'm like, guys, like, it's not what it's about, you yeah. know? No, I feel that. It, God, that was such a fun time to watch that, though. God, oh it was such gosh. a great time watching yeah. it. Yeah. I was actually freaking out when they were getting insulted. I was like, this is amazing. I know, it's crazy. This is really funny. It's really fun to watch, and then you're like, oh my god. And then, and then you feel <laughs> a reflection when we're like, oh my god, this could be, this one of these people could be president. Exactly. Then you're like, oh my gosh, like, and then how are we supposed, they're, they're supposed to be an example for us, for the rest of the country. We have <laughs> all of them up there, like. <laughs> god. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's hard. Oh my god. Oh, actually, one last comment on the Republican thing. The primary. I don't remember who it was, but it was the guy who wanted to bring more religion back into the America. Um, you know who I'm talking about? Was it Ramaswamy? No. Vivek? No, it was a different guy. Um, I don't remember. He dropped out fairly quickly, but he made it to the first debate. Mm, was it um, the North Dakota governor? Maybe. I yeah, want to say probably. It was probably the North Dakota but governor. But I remember. They were like, any final comments? And he's like, the most anti-trans shit I ever fucking heard. Oh, was it mouth. the person who gave like the whole list of things? Yeah, and I was that's like, what that's the Rama, that's thing? Ramaswamy. No, I'm back. Not him. Who was it? The first debate. He was the one who like looked in the camera and he was like, yeah, I don't he know. was like, boys need to play boys sports. Yeah, that guy. Girls, that guy. Yeah, that was that's Ramaswamy. Was it really? Yes. Oh, that's mm-hmm. even worse. The first debate. Yes, yeah, I remember God. I watched it and I. I didn't know much about him. I, I like, done a little research. Fuck? I was like, they didn't even ask you about trans yeah, issues. I literally just was like, <laughs> I was like, like okay. The man had to get that in super quick. I was like, okay. He pick he picked his audience. He dug yeah. his own grave. He went for the Trump the Trump like supporters. Yeah. The Trump supporters. But he's not Trump though. So but he's not right. Trump. So he did he just didn't have the same um Trump has this like uh I don't want to say charisma cuz I don't just not charisma gets crazy what's the people to like work for him. He just he just, I just, I guess he knows how to say the right things for some people, not for me, but for some yeah, people, it, yeah. It, who knows? Uh, Trump supporters. <laughs> but, so, your club has been going well, positive? Um, so, I'd like to say we're in a rebuilding phase. Uh-huh. Um, we're really trying to focus on what we want to um, accomplish in the club. Um, I think when we jumped into it last semester, we were more just excited to finally be chartered and have kind sure. of more of a um we were just excited to be there mm-hmm. last semester and now this semester i really want to focus on maybe more of the quality of meetings rather mm-hmm. than the quantity of them that fair. Yeah. um just having great guest speakers if we can um having just thought-provoking content during our meetings i would i would say that's pretty good i find that in clubs there's like Fun clubs, which mm-hmm. would be like mine, mm-hmm. gamers club, mm-hmm. other things, I don't know. And then there's like the more... Serious. Not to say important slash serious, but like any like um, um, like racial club, like uh, mm-hmm. the issue of uh, intervarsity for religion. Mm-hmm. I think your club would be Social the same. Social activism. Yeah, that, that might be a good that word be a good way to, to yeah. use that. But for you, that's kind of where you are. So mm-hmm. you have like a really cool chance to like have like actual guest speakers. It's and, like, awesome. It's make so that a cool. monthly thing. Mm-hmm. And that could be really cool to see. Yeah, that's what we wanted to do um, last semester, but trying to coordinate with elected officials, oh, as I'm sure you can imagine, hard. is very difficult, especially with election season ra- yeah. ramping up and petition season last last semester. It was, it's very hard to get everyone in. <laughs> what type of people do you look for that? Do you try to find like people who are running? People um, who are- well, I look for Democrats. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, Fair enough. Look for Democrats. Um, I do, um, if it's, I try to keep it local. So I try to keep mm-hmm. it Will County and Kendall County because that's where I figure most students are coming from. Yeah. Um, and then um, I'm trying to think, I try to do, I want to do someone federal mm-hmm. this that would semester. Be cool. Um, Don't know who it's going to be yet, but we're going to try and make it happen in like April or May. Um, and then hopefully I want to get a group of candidates from the area to kind of yeah. talk to the students about um, volunteering and getting involved with the campaigns. That's something that campaigns are always looking for people to help. And I really do want to plug our young Democrats into other campaigns, That'd into cool. campaigns so we can have young Democrats everywhere helping. You know, that would be Big goal. That would be my Pretty dream. Fun. Yes. Be cool. Absolutely. Nice. So, how and why did you want to be the leader of your club? You kind of didn't have like a hardcore choice because like you founded it, but still. So. <laughs> um, how and why? Mm-hmm. How I... Do you have an e-board? How about that? Sorry? Do you have an e-board? We do not. Okay, Isn't so it, it, it was actually just you. Fair enough. It's literally, so legitimately, 
Yeah, JJC Young Democrats. You're looking at the e-board. I got the entire club. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> um, not the whole club, but in terms of the e-board, that was another thing I wanted to do last semester. And just, you know, it's hard to get a club up and running, you know. No, definitely. And, yeah. you know, we didn't have the turnout I wanted, um, which... You know, it's whatever. It's hard yeah. to. I've. I'm not. I'm used to this. When you organize stuff in politics, you get very used to people just like, yeah. you know, whatever. It's people have other things going on in their lives mm -hmm. besides yucky politics, um, which I get. Um, what was the question? Uh, why did you want to be the leader of your club? What kind of why? what kind of motivates you? What's what what motivates me? Pure spite. No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> what motivates me is. Um, so when I worked on a campaign in I worked on a campaign in 2020 um, for Senator Meg Capel, um, and her campaign manager um, Jack Londrigan, super cool guy, um, he one day sat us all down. Um, we were working, we were phone banking, calling people. You cold call for four mm. hours at a time, it's, yeah. and then you just want to go home and never talk again after. Um, and he pulls aside one day and he was he just kind of had us all sitting down and he was like why are you all here? Like, why are you in politics? Because for some people, you have that one event that happened in your life, I think, where, you know, I think a lot of people, it was Trump being elected, where people yeah. were like, all right, it's time for me to lock in. I got to get involved in politics, right? Um, whereas for some people, it's just something that they've um, always had an interest in. For me, um, I've seen how social welfare can impact people, and I'm a really big supporter of social welfare and government programs, especially, you know, public school, public education in general. Um, so I guess it was really my personal values. Um, what really motivates me is knowing um, my core values are aligned with the Democratic Party. I support public education. Um, the la labor unions, I think, mm. are a very important part of our um, workforce. And um, yeah, public, public education, unions, um, a woman's right to choose. Those are my three top, three top things. Um, cool, <laughs> my three things, top yeah. three, my top three most important things. And those are all values that align with the Democratic Party. Um, so I think what motivates me is knowing that um, I'm making a difference just by getting involved. And more importantly, I'm helping others make a difference too. So I'm yeah. a part of something that's bigger than me and that's what I really like. That's, that's actually, that's great. That's like, that's a very good answer. Thank you. I think that kind of comes with it, with, uh, with your interest. Just having like a bigger, bigger uh, cause and effect. It's so much, it's so important. When you find something you like, I think, when you find something you really like and then you realize that you can do something good with it too. Mm -hmm. And then on top of it, it benefits other people. There's no greater feeling in the world. Like there's no better feeling than like election night when you worked your butt off for so many months and then they're calling in the votes and you look and you see the candidate you worked for won or the can can the candidate that you walked for a few months ago huh. won. There's no greater feeling than being like, oh, I was part of that. Like they wouldn't have, they wouldn't have won if it wasn't for me or if it wasn't for my friends, you know? Yeah. I just love, you know, I love that. That sounds pretty cool. I'll never know that feeling. <laughs> if you want to know the feeling, I can no, get you involved. I'm, no, I'm okay, no. I'm actually very happy with not doing that. Very, I will film a video for it, though. I was going to say, I'm very happy. I always tell people, if you're happy, don't get into politics. I'm All so the life in I'm your so eyes are just gone after. The life in my eyes is still there. I'm so content. <laughs> I'm actually beaming with joy, even if I don't sound like I am. So sorry. <laughs> I know, it's he's awesome. smiling. He's smiling. He means it. I'm not. I just hate everything. Oh, That's why I'm a hardcore stone cold Republican. So, what is the purpose of your club, and what does your club do? Purpose of our club, um, to in to promote party ideals. Most importantly, of course, we are the Young Democrats. But I think um, our goal is to um, involve students at GGC in politics. Mm -hmm. If you don't know anything about politics, come to Young Dems. We'll talk to you, we'll, we'll tell you whatever you want, and I'll, I'll be as unbiased as I can, I really mean it. Um, if you know a ton of stuff about politics and you're a huge raging liberal, come to Young Dems. Like, do, you know what Des do you know who Destiny is? Destiny. He's like a Twitch streamer. 
He debated Ben Shapiro like a couple oh days ago. Oh my god, ago. yeah. Yeah, it's that guy. Yes. I haven't seen it, but I want to watch that soon. It's very funny. I'll just, we'll do a watch party for Young Dems. No, that'd be so funny. <laughs> people, so many people would unironically show up for that. Probably. Just probably. being like, ah, oh, that'd be hilarious. Don't tempt me. Don't, now I'm thinking <laughs> about it like, huh? Like, that'd be great. Um, yeah, so I think just um, the purpose of our club is to get everyone involved politically and, mm -hmm. and make sure they're engaged as well as promote the Democratic Party ideals. Yeah, so I think one con um, one question about your club that I don't know if people would like instantly know, you're called Young Democrats. Mm -hmm. Are you just like gonna talk about democratic things, hence your name? Or sure. are you kinda go into more like other political things? Cause yeah. there is no like Young Republicans Club mm -hmm. or like like Green Party. Even I'd though, like, love smaller. there to be a Young Republicans do you want, Club. Do you like, if a, young, if a Republican person wants to like attend your thing, that's like fine, that's like chill for them? Yeah, they can, I mean, I'm open to it. Yeah. Just don't be an asshole. Yeah, fair like, enough. it's simple as that. <laughs> like, literally, like, like, it's really that easy. Just don't be an asshole. Like, yeah. you can come in, you can listen. I'd If we had a JJC Young Republicans, be I'd so be great. having joint meetings all the time. I'd be <laughs> doing debates, whatever, but we just, someone's got to start one, you know? Or you start it. And then you give it to someone else. And it's all like a, it's all like one thing. It all circles back to it's one thing. It's all it all circles back to me. I just I'm the puppeteer <laughs> with all the JJC political exactly. groups. Exactly. You claim every political group <laughs> possible. No, I can't put my name next to a Republican anything. Yeah. Never, <laughs> never have, never will. Fair. But your your club is mainly like Democratic. Yes. Then yes, so I most, would say it's mainly if yeah. you want to come and hear from us and learn a little bit about the Democratic Party, it's a great place to go. But. Um, don't expect to come in and us be like, you know, we're gonna, we're, we're all Democrats here. Yeah, you know, like we're you're not, gonna give the Democratic like yes, point of view. Yes, don't cool. ex don't expect a very unbiased meeting. Okay, good. You know, yeah. is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> how many people show up to your club then? Like, how many do you average around? Average, we're averaging four or five people. It's pretty meeting. good for a political thing, I'd say. Yeah, I think we have. I, six, that's like the size of some clubs. Who we have like political. sixty members total, mm -hmm. which is insane. Is it 60? Um, 60. Yeah, I got like 120. That yeah. That that's not real. <laughs> yeah, and I'm like, 60? I should yeah. have four people nah. showing up, people, right? Is, you mean like at Main Street? Yeah. Yeah, I, Main Street's not real. I think like a, Literally, select, right? a select few of people will show up after Main Street, and then you just got to run with those people. You got to make it like valuable. For you got to make it, that first meeting's got to be awesome. Yeah, it's got to go hard. If not, then like I'm not even going to show up to it. If I, yep. to it show me. up to your own and meeting. And I'm like, like an actual club person, and I wouldn't go if the meeting was bad after Main Street. I'd be like, why am I here? Why this was gonna be this epic? sucks. Like, yeah. who's running this? Literally, oh, and then I'm like, fuck, damn, I just didn't make it cool enough. That's me. Hey, that's what I. That's my biggest fear is I get so nervous before meetings that no one's gonna show up or they're gonna get there and be like, this sucks. Like, oh. <laughs> who came up with this? And I'm gonna yeah. be like, I did. <laughs> I really, I think, I I felt like that for the first meeting because I uh, mm -hmm. I had to I total rebranded the club. So like I uh, new advisor, new room, new time, new everything, and I did not say it to anybody. Because <laughs> I was like, how do I like get this out? Because I just left the old advisor's email chat and all that. How do I like tell the other members? And I was like, this will be hard. <laughs> but actually, a good amount of people showed up, so I, it was chill after that. I just kind of marketed myself as like a, a fun loving club. So yeah. chill. That's I, what I, it has to. Yeah, that's what I want to market it more as. I, I don't just have a PowerPoint yeah. slide I speak on, and then I'm like, all right, guys, pretty cool. Good yeah. job. You know, so, you know I think keep it's it easy, fun. keep it simple. You know, everyone's so tired from school. No one wants mm -hmm. to go and get lecture at a club. You know, yeah, that's, it's I've important told, to keep it fun. Yeah, yeah. I, that's why I, even if I'm like a digital media club, I'm not, I don't really go into like the whole. Yeah, let's ex actually have a class because one, I have to make that, and two, it's like a, lot of, a couple of people are already digital media majors in that. Okay. Also, it's like why would you want to like have another class? Right, right. Whole, that's very boring. That's yeah. We're going to clubs for social purposes. Exactly. You know? yeah. Fair. So, do you have? Any personal goals for your club? Personal goals, I like I said, I really eventually, even if I'm not there. How many semesters do you have left? That's a better question. This oh, my last one. My two. So we're gonna see what happens. We're after just that. gonna see what happens, which is the worst thing when you start something and then you have to leave it and then you have to be like, oh god, like I'm I very content leaving my I get, stuff. No, I. I'm okay with it. I, I believe. I got so nervous in high school when I had to leave the clubs I was running because I was like. Who's gonna take it over and who's gonna and I just yeah I Oh uh, in that regard I did had I had to debate that for a bit in my yeah. I was like uh, this person or this one. Let's just see let's just see what happens. It's so hard, you know, because you wanna have no one can do something 
the exact. No one can replicate what exactly. you do. You, you're not the next person. Can't be like in your style of stuff. Mm-hmm. And you can't be, expect like anything. Like, yeah, like, hardcore. And it might be different, but it can be a good different. Yeah. You know. But yeah. I just had to find someone who would work well with my advisor, and I think that's because important too. You could like. Did you choose your advisor? Because you founded a club, right? I founded the club, um, but the advisor found me. Oh, interesting. That happened so, with another club before. Right? Yeah, the the advisor essentially found me. We both kind of had the same idea. Actually, my advisor found me too. <laughs> well, we're both in Will County Dems. So mm. we both had already known each other. Bigger, our guy, yeah. mm-hmm. And then um, my friend from Will County Young Dems was like, hey, we want to put a Young Dems chapter in Juliet Jr. So are you a chapter then? Yes. Okay. Technically. Of Will, Ca- we're technically a chapter of Illinois Young Democrats. So okay, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, so, technically. Yeah. Interesting. Yes. So personal goals, just hoping that it succeeds. Generally. Personal go- goals is I want to leave with a foundation built for oh, next nice. semester. I want them to know. I want whoever is going to take it over um, to at least have the same resources and same contacts I do. Mm-hmm. Um, so they can have guest speakers and things like that. I'm very lucky to have a few um, contacts with elected officials that kind of yeah, helps me, huge. you know, helps me maneuver things. Nice. So those, those would be the main, the main goals. Imagine you see on like a social media post from them. There's like 25 plus people in there, all just all just Democrats who are young. <laughs> then I would know it's me. Then I would. Then I'd be like, okay, so it was user error, not um, okay. Was I, the, was I the problem? I was the problem. <laughs> right. God. That'd be awful. Would you say like you personally? Would you? Are you like you're like a political person, right? Really? Which kind of like granted, but sure. Would you ever? Um, why did you run for trustee? Why didn't I? Yeah, that seems like a good thing to be up your alley. So. It's a loaded question. Because Keely ran last year. Keely ran. And you were with her last year. Whatever. Keely's my best friend. Yeah. Which is part of the reason why I didn't run. Would you have wanted to if you if she, if she wasn't running? Probably not, mm. to be honest with you. Um, my one, I've seen how hard it is to be in an elected yeah. position. I, I've been friends with both the trustees. Yes. Josh Damborski. Yes. Massive time sink in that guy. Surprisingly, he did have a lot of time to hang out with me, though. So that's yeah. chill. And but Aisha's amazing. Aisha's I couldn't, I couldn't imagine anyone else being yeah. trustee besides Aisha's just, her. I super busy. She's so busy. And you know what? That's my thing. Is I'm involved. Mm. I intern, and I work a part time job. Fair. And I go to school full time. Yeah. I can't do that on top yeah, of it. No, and you it's know, such a time sink. It's so hard because you see a lot of people. Not a lot of people, but some people run for office. Um, or any kind of elected position, and it's almost like, did you even want to do it? Yeah, like, you I, know what I, I mean? Idea. And I think that was kind of what I was worried about, was I just don't have the time. Like, do I want to do it? Would I want to do it? Absolutely. Mm-hmm. But it would be un- it would be a disservice to the students at JJC to have a student trustee who is being pulled a million directions at once and can't really put their all into that. Yeah. That's kind of how I felt. It's actually very, uh, it's like very mature, mature and like self-thinking about you had a lot of stuff on that. That's cool. I just, you know, I've seen it happen before. I don't, want, I don't want to be that guy. Yeah, that's fair. So, um, you are like an active club mm-hmm. generally, right? Generally, I'd yeah. say so. Do you have any upcoming events or plans that your club is excited about? We do not right now. Yeah, that's what I thought. Because um, <laughs> it is, you know, we are only a month back into school, Alex. We're only a couple of weeks in. Where are we right now? A club event. Well, you're just on top of things better than me. That is true. You're just so you're the better club leader than I am. You can I, just, I didn't say it. You can just no no no, no it's fine. Go ahead. I am. No yeah whatever. It's okay. fine. No right now we have nothing though. Fair. <laughs> but we there's some stuff in the works I'll say. What works. information? What stuff? Potential fun plans. <sighs> no. <laughs> um, <laughs> potent, well I mentioned we're gonna have a hopefully a federal um, elected here in April or May. Big. Um, also going to try and do like a career fair style thing, oh, nice. um, which is going to be like linking campaigns together, oh, L- cool. linking students yeah. with campaigns, which again, I just, I'd love to do, but if you don't get the turnout, yeah. I don't want to wait. Like these people spend so, have so much, so limited time. Mm-hmm. Like a speech-esque thing? Is that what it is? Kind of like, I kind of want to do like a... Do you remember when a Supreme Court justice came here? Yeah, last year. Is it year. Like, like that idea? Yes. Uh, That's what I want to do for um, the Fed, for mm-hmm. a federal... Elected. I went there. I was. I went I to that last year. I think people would show up to that. I think people would definitely show up if I got. But something like, 
with like I don't know like bigger probably more invested in that. Yeah, I can. I'm not gonna drop names because then I basically then, then, you, then you're worried. Then I have to make pro. Then I make promises. Exactly, yeah. You know, I can't make any promises. But the people, that, the person I have in mind, um, it would be really cool nice. to have. So stay tuned. You could. I, I don't know any of those people's names, so I, I would have no idea. Yeah, but what if someone watches this and then they're like so excited? And they're like, oh my god, my favorite person! And then like next thing you know, people are calling me like she ne, he or she never um you know. They never showed up. What yeah, happened? Yeah, and then I'm like, oh, I don't know. Right. Okay. <laughs> but yes. But hopeful goals in the future. Yes. Trying to get speeches. Yes, I want to get speech. That'd be fun. Fundraiser. I we we need we. We kind of need money. You should do something about how you should um, should vote or get registered to vote. We can't. Really? That's a big thing. So yeah. in um, Illinois, I don't know if this is, I believe this is accurate to all mm. um, states, okay. but Illinois, I know for certain. Um, it's very important, the ethics of separating voting registration from parties. Oh, sure. Um, yeah. It'd be kind of hard to unbiased that. Because it's kind of Democrats, hard because like, yeah. You know, if like if it was up to me, I'd be like, yeah, you can register to vote. Oh, you're voting for Trump? <laughs> Slide the thing back. Yeah, right now. Um, I wouldn't do that. I would not do that. Vote for whoever you want. I care mm -hmm. more that you... I'd rather you vote for someone I hate someone than not voted. vote at like, all. At least you, know? you can count it as something. At least... Because then you, you can't complain about what happens in this country... If you're not changing If you're change not anything. voting. I mean, unless you're under 18. Then I, that's yeah. different. But if you're going to sit there and bitch and moan about taxes and whatever else and then uh, I, taxes i think like yeah well, she, i sound like a terrible other, political other, issues other that... political things like <laughs> but if you're gonna if you're gonna complain about things if you're gonna complain about laws and regulations and elected officials and then i say oh who'd you vote for last year and you say oh i no didn't one. vote i'm literally taking your opinion and i'm throwing it away because like, yeah, yeah, no, I feel that. It's like you can't complain to, if you're not, if you're not doing anything, anything about it, you know. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. fair. Yeah. So I think other things we're gonna hopefully do fundraising wise, we're pretty good on funds. Nice. Um, because Will County Young Democrats. Do they fund you guys? To your chapter. Okay. So. What are the many benefits of that? Yes. I so I have a budget each month. Oh, great. Mm -hmm. That actually is nice. Yeah, and then they just give me the card and I have to give them receipts and stuff. <laughs> yeah, that's always I haven't pain. spent, like, any money. I think the only thing I spent money for was Trunk or Treat. That was, was fun. Like, Did you like that? I loved Trunk or Treat. I, I Kids are awesome. I love community events like that, too, because... Mm -hmm. I think it humanizes political organizations. I can see that. I yeah. think sometimes people think like, ugh, young Republicans are all like a bunch of racist, sexist assholes. And yeah, it's like, yeah. Democrats are a bunch of crybaby, whatever, like, yeah, Liberals, you know, yeah. yeah. And it's like, no, Blue at the end of the day, we're just people, you know? Mm -hmm. And when you have community events like that, I love seeing like fundraisers or- um, Just chill people. Just like that. It's like, we're all just, we're all just here. We're not here. We're just, we happen to be Democrats, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> we're not here because we are you know what i mean yeah that's if that makes sense yeah a lot of things we could talk about being yes. a democratic club mm -hmm. many topics in history many things mm -hmm. barack obama the capital ride that was sad that was that was the the capital the insurrection capital insurrection yeah. on january something january 6th i was gonna say 11th maybe Six. Do you remember the day? Like, do you remember that day like, when, it it. when it happened? I watched like I watched YouTube clips of it the yeah. day of. I don't think I watched it live. I watched it live. It was, <laughs> I, I have you seen that one clip where the police officer is being chased up the stairs? I felt so bad for that guy. He ended up getting a. What was he gonna do? I think he got a medal of honor. Good. I think. Um, <laughs> They were horrible. And what they did to the the, the house rep, the the, the person Nancy, Pelosi. Nancy Pelosi's desk and all that shit. Yeah. Here's my thing. Um. That's just a lot. Like, I don't... <laughs> I, I I think people, people like, talk about that like it's crazy. And it's like, yeah, that, 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 that did suck. But also, it's like, those are, like, Trump supporters. And now he's back. And it's like, oh, it's man. So, it's crazy, isn't it? We live, like, I never... It's like from a video game type thing. If you had told me in 2016 that this is where we would be with Trump... Yeah, literally. Well, he started running in 2015, right? Okay, sure. So... Oh, my gosh. So, it's almost been a decade of Trump. I remember as a kid watching CNN 10s of Trump. We're nine years in of Trump, dude. Nine and he's still in. kicking. That's based. That's surprising. God, I want I want to make this clear because people who people who are my friends obviously know 
But like people who don't, I'm not a Republican. I swear to God, I, just, I wouldn't be on here. I just, <laughs> I just call Trump based, but like that's just an awesome funny it was, joke. He's it's just really surprising how long he lasted. Unironically, like four years, sure, but like it makes you like wonder, imagine man. like Obama's not talked about like that anymore. You know what it I mean? It just makes you wonder. I mean, to be fair though, Obama served his two terms and True. Then quietly left the White House and retired. True. Trump, did Trump went out guns Trump, blazing. Trump took the box and yeah. the CIA files or whatever. Yeah, and he was oh like, God. all right, yeah, I'm keeping this and not giving it back. The January 6th insurrection, though, I remember it like it was crazy. So my mom was still working at Holy Family, yeah. and it happened while she was at school, and I was already home. I don't know why I was home. I think it, cause it was during COVID. Oh my gosh, oh. yeah. It was the COVID shutdown. We were doing online school. Oh, yeah. And my mom's school was in person. I kind of forgot that it was COVID. Oh, it's I even forgot. That's even worse. They, yes. Trump supporters went in already spreading COVID. And then yep. they're like, let's storm the storm. Let's it. just like destroy the capital. And no one will be there because it's COVID. <laughs> Except everyone was there. They were yeah. trying to. It was, um, it was, I saw it. They were like, trying yeah, to put the votes so in, certify yeah. the election. Um, yeah, so it was just, I remember everything. My mom, well, I was taking a nap mm, when, when they, when they uh, showed up. I'm taking a nap. My brother came in my room and woke me up. He was like, you got to go turn on the TV. I was like, okay, turn on the TV. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, I'm like, I literally remember being like, I was like, what is happening? I was like, this is the kind of stuff that happens in countries that, like, aren't here, you know? Yeah, this happens in other countries I did, I did, yeah. with unstable governments, yeah. you know? It was just... I, will, I literally, like, I remember what I was wearing that day. I remember what I was doing. The other, like, the I remember things. my mom cried on the phone. She called me about oh it, God. and she cried. She was like, I just don't understand what's happening. The Capitol. Yes, she was so <laughs> scared, and everyone, it was... Yeah. She was like... I had a teacher the next people, day. People talk about that like it's like the next 9-11 kind of thing. It was, I mean, I don't want to say this because I don't, I, it takes with a grain of salt. Um, okay. It was the closest thing I think to people who were born after 2001. Yeah, it was I mean, that's, the what closest, I, that's what I just said. Yes, like, it was the yeah. closest national event. Mm, it was a People talk about it like it is. It was a tragedy. And the worst part, and the mm. thing that separates it from... It was Americans. In two yes, days. that's what separate is. It's like... It was our own people who did that. Yeah. We, and then you wonder... That was kind of an L on our part. A huge L, Alex. A huge L. You should be a political comment, commentator. I hope not. That'd They'd be, love that'd be awful. That was a huge L Trump just took. He and did. He took the L in New Hampshire. Imagine if JJC won. sponsored us. That'd be so funny. They would not like this. They would not like me. They would not like this. They wouldn't like me. Oh my God. <laughs> they would... <laughs> they told me very specific. They were like... We will not sponsor you, and if you say something, like you're you're on your own. And I was like, okay, I can live with that. That's probably better. If there's anything in here that sounds like I could get canceled, can you bleep so. it out? I don't think there's anything. But like, if you're going through it and you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't think you said anything. Get I canceled. try very hard to. I think I've said more things that could get me canceled. I try very hard to be um, like um, cognizant of my language and my wording, mm -hmm. but sometimes the way I say something or what I say, I'm like, that did not come out right. And then yeah, I kind of have to yeah. like go back and be like, let me, let me explain to you what I meant by that. <laughs> that Shapiro would destroy you. Oh, but I mean, funny. what, so he can just talk louder and faster than me? Yeah. That's his, his go-to tactic. <laughs> just yell over whoever's yeah, trying like, to. That's inaccurate. That's inaccurate. Yeah. And you're just like, okay, like, let me I'm just. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Ben. Let me get one word out, <laughs> Ben. God. <sighs> so. How do you see your club evolving in the future? After you leave, hopefully. like. Dude, it's only up from here. It's hopefully. only up from here. We're gonna... Young... JJC Young Democrats today... I don't know. I was gonna say, like... I was gonna try and think of something clever. Say, like, super inspirational. Yeah, I can't think of anything, though. But, um... Oh, okay. I really... I see our club, hopefully, mm -hmm. um... Continuing to improve, continuing to do more outreach in the community. Yeah, I'd like to see some social media presence. That'd be cool. Um, however, again, that's something that like, oh, I don't know. Um, and just kind of see what happens with that. I'd like to see eventually um, bigger turnout too. I think, um, and just more events. I want to see. I'd like to come back to JJC in ten years, and everywhere I turn, there's something Young Dems on the wall. I want people to be like. Is this the Young Dem School? <laughs> That's what I want. God, hopefully. We'll, we'll see after the next election. Maybe people will be more inspired. Alex is like, not if I can stop it. God, no. Mr. I have put no... Nope. <laughs> oh my God, That's awful. I can't even say that. That was so mean. I'm, I'm just so not, sorry. I'm just not a Republican. I'm a base liberal Democrat. And thank God for that. Yeah. I, I just love literally any person having more rights than they already have based on 
no discriminatory factors. It's pretty chill, you know? Simple as that. Yeah. You I make simple. it sound really easy. I do. That's my personal motto. Okay, we're on our final couple of questions now. And I think we've went over a broad range of topics. I'd say Many so. interesting things. Hopefully, this is coherent. I don't know. But, how do students get involved in your club and what are the benefits of joining? Benefits of joining? Um, you're going to have opportunities to volunteer. You're going to have opportunities to meet elected officials and talk to them one on one like this. It's cool. Um, and they're not as scary as they seem once you see them in person. Um, <laughs> and then um, in terms of how you can join the club, you can reach out to me or Duffy Blackburn, which is who is the advisor. Um, I'm trying to think of what email would be best. Some email. Can you can you like put that in there? I can. Cool, cool. I'll give you my email. Um, yeah. cool. Uh, yes, but you can, yes, reach out to me or Duffy. Um, check the JJC website. Check the they JJC have website. Your yeah, oh, email. I didn't even know that. They do. Your advisor's oh, email. Oh, I'm a terrible is club leader. I'm terrible. <laughs> anyway, anyway, but yes, there's tons of opportunities to get involved. If you have been sitting around like. Gee, I'd love to get involved in state and local politics. Oh boy, my little state and local politics. I'm really sure happy. everyone does, right? Some Who doesn't? Do. Some. Um, some weirdos do. Um, come to JJC Young Dems. There's something for everybody. We'll put you with a candidate or we'll find a candidate for you if you'd like. Um, yeah, I, I think that's about it. What are your meeting times? Do you have social media? No social media right now. Okay. Um, mostly because I'm my internship. I run social yeah, media. Yeah, fair enough. Then. So I'm like, I cannot. First run. social media thing possible. Yes. Of the Young Democrats in this podcast. <laughs> um, and then um, what was the other part of that question? Meeting times meeting, and days. Meeting times. Um, monthly. Nice. On Wednesdays. Oh, yeah. Um, in terms of time, it's gonna be different. Probably. Um, actually, the days might be different too because I have class now on Wednesdays, two to four. Some day it will happen. Some day on a day of the week. In a, uh, uh, in a month. Here, at a certain time on the clock. On the campus. There, there will, will be, be a meeting. Young Dems meeting. And you can find it somewhere with hopeful signs. And you can find it hopefully with a sign. You're just making me realize how bad my outreach has been. Um, <laughs> you can find it maybe on a sign. Check your email if you're already signed up. True. That's one of the best ways to probably get informed. Yes. I send weekly update emails. Oh, nice. Um, well, last nice. semester I did. Um, the semester I haven't started, but I sent email updates. Cool. Um, but yes, reach out to me or Duffy. Um, Wednesdays were our last year. It was, last year it was Wednesdays 2.30 once a month, the second Wednesday. This semester, I'm not totally sure yet, but when I get that information, You'll be the first I tell, so you can be there. This oh, great! That's that's awesome, and I might be there. I might. Be good, there. good, good. Hopefully. Good. And now, our last question: What is one topic relating to your club you want to mention? Ooh, that's a hard one. What thing? You can advertise your club. You can talk about cool political things you're interested in. Anything. I could do that for hours. <laughs> I could do that for hours. You have a True. lot of footage to sift through. Um, I think one thing I just want to reiterate is everyone's welcome. No matter what, if you have years of experience in politics, if you don't know what the difference is between a Democrat and a Republican. <laughs> That'd be horrible. I mean, I hope not. It'll, I'll struggle to tell you seriously with a straight face yeah. what the difference is. Um, but we'll get you, we'll get you straightened out and there's a place for everyone at Young Dens. Um, whether you just want to go and hang out with people like who have similar, um, thoughts and opinions as you, like-minded people, or if you want to get involved, um, in the community, whatever it is, whatever you, whatever you want to get out of JJC Young Dems, we can probably make happen for you, is my, my final, my final say. Very awesome and inspirational. I try. I try. Well, this has been the Wolf Five Podcast, episode 11, featuring the Young Democrats Club. I think this went really well. I think so. This was interesting. First first and only political club on campus. Yes. That's something to be impressed with already. Yes. I didn't even know that. Yeah, I mean, there's yeah. just, there's nothing else. I didn't know if there was, like, I didn't know if there was something, like, years ago, maybe. There used know. to be a social justice club. Oh, really? They, they did not work anymore. They stopped. So, I don't know. But... It's a very large, broad... It social is. Yeah, There's a lot know. of smaller niches in there. It's hard yeah. to make it one club. 
Yeah. I think the smaller niche one works for you. Yeah. Compared to like JDC's so. political club, right? That'd be horrible. I had, I ran po- I ran politics club in high school. Oof. It was terrible. Yeah, I can imagine. A lot of different sides. But it was awesome. It was terrible. I say it was terrible, but it was awesome. There was great connections there with people. People talked, people listened. It was moderated really well. Oh, nice. It'd be nice to recreate that here. We'll see. Very fun. Yes. Well, thank you guys for listening. We're on YouTube now. I finally started uploading. Uh, huge thing. They'll come out like twice a week. Uh, it's really funny because this will not canonically make sense two weeks later. No. So, you know, at the time of this recording, all this is fact. It makes sense. Yeah. And hopefully in two weeks, I'll have actual meeting times to get True. you. And then you can... I can even add that in the description. Thank so it'll you. work. Beautiful. Thank well, you. Well, thank you for coming on. Thank you for having me. And I will see you guys later. Bye-bye. Bye.